You have been told that you need chemotherapy as part of your breast cancer treatment. And then you hear the words, you are going to lose your hair. It's one of the hardest parts of treatment. But let's talk about what really happens and how to take control of this journey. Hi, I'm Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon here to help you understand everything about breast health and cancer treatment. Today, we are diving into hair loss from chemotherapy, why it happens, what to expect, and how to cope. If you or a loved one is facing this, stay with me because I will also share some tips to make this journey a little easier. So why does chemotherapy cause hair loss? Well, chemotherapy targets fast growing cancer cells, but here's the thing, your hair follicles are also fast growing too. So the chemotherapy doesn't just attack the cancer, it also affects your hair, leading to thinning of the hair or complete hair loss. It usually starts two to three weeks after the first treatment and it can happen gradually or all at once. So what to expect when losing hair? Hair loss can vary from person to person. Some people notice gradual shedding while others wake up to clumps on their pillow. Eyebrows, eyelashes and body hair can also thin out. But here is something important. Hair loss is temporary. Hair almost always grows back once treatment ends and sometimes it comes back different. It can come back as curly hair, wavy hair or even a new color. So can you prevent hair loss? Unfortunately, there is no guaranteed way to stop hair loss with chemotherapy, but scalp cooling caps can help. And these work by reducing blood flow to the scalp, limiting how much chemotherapy reaches your hair follicles. Now they don't work for everyone, but they are worth exploring. So how to cope and take control. Losing your hair can be really challenging and upsetting, but here are some ways to take control. You can cut it short before it starts falling out. This helps with the transition. You can try on wigs, scarves or hats and find what makes you feel good. You can embrace the look. Now some people find empowerment in owning the moment. Remember, it's okay to grieve the loss. Give yourself grace. Hair loss can be tough, but it doesn't define you. And I hope these strategies have helped. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.